Hey guys, this is Alex with Eastside Music School, and I was going to show you a few uh, metronome practice tips that you can do. Uh, I play guitar, so I'll do this on guitar, but you can really do it with any instrument. And um, let's start by talking about what a metronome is. So it's uh, uh, basically it just clicks, and you can set the tempo, uh, and they measure in BPM or beats per minute. So if I set it to 60, it'll click once a second. And you can increase it as the numbers go up, it starts to get faster. And this metronome goes up to 208, or 208 beats per minute. And there's uh, markings in here that are from Italian, Largo, uh, Daggio, Andante, and it basically just means different uh, speeds. Um, so I use a metronome to practice with, and I encourage my students to use it. And I'm going to show you a couple things you can do right now uh, to, to help you get a good feel. Um, I should say some people feel like metronomes will make you sound metronomic or, or robotic, and uh, I, I disagree with that. I think if you can play well with a metronome, then you'll be set up for success to play well with other musicians. Um, so let's, uh, let's get started here. I'm going to set the metronome to 80, and I'll put it on the ground. And if you are playing guitar, you grab your pick, and you can just try and pick along to the clicks, right? So we'll start in the E string, and just pick down once per click. And believe it or not, it's kind of challenging if you've never done it before to really get that metronome to line up with the click. You can also alternate pick, or two picks per click. And honestly, just trying to like get that to line up and doing that for an extended period of time, uh, it may actually kind of tell you a few things about your time that you didn't really know. Um, often it's the case that you're pretty comfortable playing with other people, playing with other guitar players or in a band, uh, but when it comes time to play to a metronome or in the recording studio to record to what we call a click track, uh, it, it can be pretty challenging. So, so just kind of bring awareness to the, to the time and just trying to do something as simple as picking on a string can help. Um, another thing you can do is you maybe just play a major scale, so I'll increase the tempo a little bit. And this is basically the same idea, but we're just going to add some left hand stuff. So uh, maybe a C major scale. And really just trying to get that metronome to line up with the notes. Um, if you know you might be rushing or dragging and so it's it's about kind of being able to speed up or slow down to to really get the the beats to line up with where you're picking you can also do uh those those would be quarter notes so i'm doing one pick per beat one two three four one Uh, eighth notes would be twice as fast, so we keep the click. Uh, again, I'm on 80. I'm on 100 BPM, and so I'll pick eighth notes now. Right? Um, so it seems pretty easy, but I encourage you to give it a shot. It might be a little trickier than you think if you've never done it before. Um, I also think the metronome is a great way to kind of gauge your practice over time. Um, you know, you might find that 100 BPM is as fast as you can do a particular exercise. So, so you could set a goal to say 104 for the next week or 108 and kind of incremental improvements. Um, when you start to get the hang of it, you can increase the tempo. So here we are at 126. And one that I like to do would be... Uh, it's kind of a chromatic warm-up, so I'm going to start on the 5th fret of the E string, and I'm going to pick two picks per click. And so on. And if you have really any exercises you've been doing to kind of warm up, uh, or to build strength in your left hand. Basically, just keep doing those, but, but add a metronome. Um, when you're starting to get comfortable with this, then you can really start to do some fun and creative uh, exercises with the metronome to actually really help develop your time. And again, I don't think that 
playing with the metronome will make you sound robotic. I think if you can kind of make it work with the metronome or even make it swing with the metronome, uh, then you're really going to be in good shape when you're going to play with other players. In fact, it, it's great to be the, the, the one in the band that really has a strong sense of time. I mean, hopefully everybody in the band has a strong sense of time. But if you're playing with people who are just kind of getting it together, uh, it, it feels really good to have a, a strong sense of, of the pulse, and, and you can actually help out the other guys in the band. So what we can do now is slow the metronome down. So I'm on 60 again. But now I'm going to feel these as half notes, right? So it's kind of like saying 120, but only clicking every other beat, like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom. 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 And, and I actually really like to feel things in kind of half time because if it's starting to get a little fast and feeling a little frantic, uh, you just cut the tempo in half and uh, sometimes that does a trick. It lets you play quickly without feeling rushed. So let's give that a shot. So again, I'm on 60. And I'm going to play quarter notes. I'm just going to do a major scale just so you can hear it. One, two, three. Also play eighth notes so I'll be picking eighth notes but still feeling the half notes on the metronome and it is a little tricky I would encourage you to just kind of um, to play around with it it might be a little confusing at first but so here are the eighth notes uh, da, 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 da. In case you can't hear that metronome, I'll put it right here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Cool? So that's the metronome on half notes clicking on, we'd say, one and three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you can actually do a lot of this stuff even without an instrument in your hands, just kind of trying to feel the time and count along with it. Um, so, so that's another great thing you can do with the metronome. If you're really starting to get the hang of it, I would encourage you to try uh, something that I love to do to practice my swing feel, um, which is to have the metronome click half notes, so uh, every two beats, but actually feeling it on two and four. Now, what is that? Well, here's clicking, and instead of feeling one, two, three, four, one, two, three, I'm going to feel it as uh, the back beat. I'm going to feel it on two and four like this. A one, two, three, four. A one, two, three, four. A one, two, three, four. Almost like a snare drum. So check this out. So I can play that same scale with eighth notes, but I'm going to play them with uh, swung eighth notes now. So it'll sound like this. Da 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 da. One, two, ready, go. Pretty tricky if you've never done that before, but I encourage you to give it a shot. So again, we're feeling it on two and four. It's clicking on half notes, so I have it set to 60, but I'm actually feeling the pulse as if it were 120 B BPM. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right? And uh, you could practice um, chord progressions, melodies, you could even just practice kind of improvising with this going on in the background. Now what was I playing with the, the guitar? I was playing swung eighth notes, so instead of even, right, I'm swinging them. Kind of like a long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. For me I pick down on the downbeat and up on the upbeat. So I'll just go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm at 80. And now I'm just going to kind of improvise a little bit. Uh, 
and try and keep that going on in the background. One, two, uh, one, two, three, ah. Uh. kind of some tips something I would do with the metronome and uh, if you've never practiced with the metronome I say take it slow just turn it on kind of get a sense of it if you've done it maybe before and have not really found it to be useful uh, maybe you can try some of these more creative uh, metronome techniques and I'll go ahead and um, make a little PDF document and put it on the website so you can see um, written examples of what I'm talking about so again that's just a couple of nice quick and easy things you can do with the metronome to help with your time help with your feel and also to kind of gauge your progress as you are getting a little quicker um, in your development. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to shout out. We're at Eastside Music School. Uh, look us up online and sign up for a lesson. Thanks.